guys of United Rock Nations and with Cobra. So, uh, how, uh, for you, uh, is it really uh, like a gift, a real gift to be in uh, France, in Paris, to do your gigs? Oh yes, it, this is an amazing gift for us, so thank you so much for having us. It's our first time playing in Paris. And, uh, first time, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's amazing, we're on the other side of the world and beautiful city. <laughs> I can't complain. <laughs> oh, sure, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, I remember in 2014, you went on tour with KISS and Def Leppard, is that right? Yes, that's right. So, what do you think about this uh, experience for you? Because it's amazing to play with KISS or with Def Leppard. It was amazing. Uh, KISS and Def Leppard are both very virtuous bands. and. Um, Def Leppard, I mean, especially the musicianship was just amazing, and Kiss, the show was incredible. Uh, we learned so much, and every night it was kind of surreal. We were eating dinner, and Def Leppard would be playing, uh, you know, right behind us, and we're in the catering eating, listening to a band that uh, I was waiting to sit in the nosebleed section to watch, you know, when yeah. I was 15. And it, yeah. So it's like, I was there and now we're supporting them and it was just such an incredible thing. So you're like a child in front of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, so yeah, we are here to talk about your new EP. Cool. Right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Words of the Prophets. Yes. Uh, why did you decide to um, use some covers songs? Ah, you know, because we, we hadn't been on tour for about eight months and uh... <laughs> And you want to wave? <laughs> Bassman Brad? Yeah. This guy. This guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, lead bass guitar right there. Yeah. Um, we had been on the road for eight months and we needed to do something. So uh, this was just a fun way to get back together, prepare for the touring uh, yeah. season again. And um, it was not something that our fans expected from us. And yet, these classic rock roots, they came before metal. So the, these things are songs that we heard before we heard any metal. These were the nostalgic songs of our childhood, really. Yeah. So yeah, it was just a great tribute that we got to make. and also Maybe especially Canadians, yes. uh, guys. That I, I want to, you know, to uh, explain for the fans Yes, the, uh, the songs. So maybe the first one is Lady on the Line. Mm. And um, uh, we know that Rick Emmett was on the first album out of the pit. You know, <laughs> just right for all the albums and uh, everything. Um, uh, is that the reason why you decide to, um, to cover a tri triumph, tri triumph? Triumph song? Uh, man, I'm impressed by your research. Uh, n no, it wasn't the reason. Um, the reason is because we just love Triumph. Triumph yeah. is uh, something that Canadians are very proud of. And they didn't continue on as long as they should have. Um, but their songs remain rockin' and timeless and we just needed to because that's one of everyone in our band's uh, favorite groups that came out of Canada. So that's why yeah, you yeah. did it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and next one is Sign of the Gypsy Queen. Yeah. Um, um, you know that uh, this, this song is not uh, the song which has been recorded by uh, April Wine. It's a Canadian which is who is uh, Lawrence Hood. Hood? Yeah. Lawrence Hood. Hood, Hood. Ah. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. And uh, why did you choose exactly that song to, to reproduce uh, the cover? Because uh, our band is a dual lead guitar band, yeah. and April Wine uh, is very melodic. The sign of the Gypsy Queen, particularly, has it's very melodic, and we thought it was um, actually a great cover for Cobra and the Lotus specifically, yeah. because it had a place for the guitars to play together and really throw down also some vocal harmonies that we don't get to show people very often. So. Everyone in the band can sing, and uh, we don't do that so often in, um, in a way that you can hear everyone. Sign of the Gypsy Queen, you can hear everyone singing, and uh, I thought that was really cool. With the guitars, too. With the guitars, <laughs> so, yeah, with the two guitars. 
Um, another Canadian uh, artist, Alana Miles, yeah. is honored on your EP uh, with Black Velvet. Velvet. The, yeah. Uh, God damn. <laughs> Black Velvet. It's close enough. <laughs> Black Velvet. Uh, it's uh, when I uh, hear that song, it's more like a bluesy uh, songs. Uh, when no did you, yeah, tell me maybe a little bit more about the uh, recording. About yeah, that was probably the most challenging song for me because I love the original Black Velvet. Yeah. Her voice is very raspy and it's strong without too much coming out. Uh, whereas Cobra and the Lotus stuff is, you know, my vocal is very clean. Yeah, I know it. But it's very yeah. loud. <laughs> And it was very different sound for me to try and uh, figure out what was my way to do it. Um, but I really wanted to because I love this song and I thought it had a lot of potential to be a little heavier. So um, that's why we did it. It was uh, kind of a, a fun challenge and I just want, I really wanted to tribute to Alana Miles because I've met her twice, we've performed together once. And she is an amazing lady that I think is uh, is uh, undercredited. Undercredited. So, yeah. yeah, that's fine. Right. Yeah. Nice. I <laughs> just I think maybe uh, Anna could feel very proud of you about me. <laughs> the cover. <laughs> yeah, because you know on YouTube a lot of people uh, do some covers songs. Yes. So yeah. For sure. Maybe yeah, it's a nice idea to maybe you should do an, an EP. But um, with another Canadian, because I think in all of your EP, you're based on Canadian uh, artists. I'm yeah. sorry, but yeah, it's nice. Uh, but Batman Turner Overdrive, uh, it's a band. And for those who, doesn't know, who don't know about uh, this band, so uh, you record Let It Ride yeah. from there. But uh, this band is not really uh, known in Europe. So okay. Maybe that's why. Maybe yeah. You want. That's it, that's interesting. Um, I uh, we picked it because this song just makes us feel good. You yeah. put it on and it's very uplifting. So that's why we did it. We just we just think it's like a soul lifter. Um. <laughs> soul. <laughs> yeah, soul lifter. You put it in your car. You drive around in the summer and you feel good. That's. On, on which road do you drive? <laughs> Which one? <laughs> <laughs> on the right side. Uh, on, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, Rush is the only active band that you uh, did another uh, covers. Uh, what a challenge you did uh, to reuse this mega hit because it was yeah. really a hit. Uh, as I mean, we all about mm. the basics. Rock fans know. So yeah. Can you explain uh, me and to the fans? Maybe about the uh, recording because you know it, you feel maybe stress to record it on. No, it wasn't. Yeah, uh, Rush was pretty crazy for us to attempt, yeah. but that's also what made it a song that we really wanted to do uh, because no one covers Rush because you know they're they're a progressive uh, rock band that have a million tempo changes and they do it well <laughs> and. Uh, we, uh, we need to do, uh, because the theme was Canadian classic rock, and yeah. how can you not do Rush? Rush is, uh, you know, um, something that the world actually knows about too, in most places. And uh, that song particularly, The Spirit of Radio, I picked it because it has a really, really important message, and it, it talked about things that were happening in the industry yeah. with uh, really like artists not not being I guess worth their weight uh, as much as they should have been appreciated and it was before even digital happened when this song was written okay. so I, I find it really amazing because people need to support live music and uh, it's not just hard for artists now, it's hard for radios, it's hard for webzines, magazines, um, any form of uh, that, but people need the music, so... Sure. And what do you think about the uh, your guys, <laughs> when they play it, they just play with some patience, like, you know, yeah, we do a cover, so let's play 100% uh, on it, you know, that, that kind of thing, maybe, you know? Uh, 
You mean when we were yeah. playing the cover? Oh yeah, we gave two hundred percent. We had to do our 200. absolute best, and yeah. Not when I'm doing two hundred. Not yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> maybe next time should be three hundred. Yeah, maybe. What could happen? <laughs> you know. <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> Um, and uh, maybe we can talk about the future. Uh, sure, yes. About maybe a new album because the last one was released in 2014. Yeah. So, uh, do you have some uh, plans uh, for maybe your personal uh, songs? Are you preparing for a new album or not for now? Yeah, February uh, 22nd, I believe, we are set to go into the studio. February 22nd. Mm -hmm. Remember it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that will be our fourth album yeah. already and uh, I can't believe that but it's coming. We're already preparing to uh, to do that so yeah the fourth album is just around the corner probably next fall. Probably so maybe now you're just writing the song. Yeah we're just so writing you, right now. So what do you think about maybe just to have an idea about the future is it most uh, personal, most like uh, when you feel good or something, something else. Like the uh, the feelings that you want to. The the uh, songs are about many different things um, because we have such a spectrum of emotions yeah. and things that humans go through. There's uh, songs about dealing with your demons and because it's hard not to let the negative side of uh, the human mind win sometimes. There's songs about addictions, there's songs about feeling lost in your purpose in life and trying to find your way back to figuring out who you are and what your identity is. There's a few songs about identity and uh, self-empowerment and uh, there's a lot of hope in the music as well. Okay. You know? There's songs about love, there's a lot of, <laughs> love, there, our yeah. songs about life, yeah, so uh, the next album um, should be some of that and then uh, maybe also some topics about prevailing maybe. within this, yeah. We're gonna see it. <laughs> yeah, you <time>. will. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching us uh, at United Rock Nations. Thank you, uh, Cobra. Thank you very much. So Hey everybody around the world, I'm Cobra Page from Cobra and the Lotus. I just wanted to say thank you all so very, very much for all of your support. Uh, we love you guys, we can't do this without you. Um, I'm going to sign this picture of us and uh, put all my love into it. Uh, any of you can, you know, uh, put your name out there on United Rock Nations to grab this paper. And I really hope to see you guys at a show. Uh, rock on, metal on, and we love you. I love you eternally. Metal on, guys.